Hello, welcome today with this video in the series PL in a day. And today we have our third version to build a PL in Power BI, and we're going to use the custom visual. And uh, there are two, two uh, custom visuals I know that is Info River and Cyber BI. And today we're going to start with Cyber BI. So let's start. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And also join us in the Power BI Finance Corner and click on the link below so you can download this file and you can work along with us. And before we start, some acknowledgement. So first, some acknowledgement for Andrew because uh, he's not only the founder of Shiba BI but he is also making videos how to use all the different uh, pieces of his uh, custom visual and also a very long video about uh, PNL so you can also watch his uh, tutorial and of course uh, Pascal Kiever he's a BI Samurai I uh, recently joined also BI Samurai and he asked me, hey, did you use Zebra? And I had to acknowledge, I don't know, no, uh, didn't use it before in production. So I will find out today how it works and let's, uh, let's explore together. So this is our starting situation. We have a data model built in our previous uh, video from PNL, uh, PNL in a day uh, series. And we also have some measures and I think we only need some basic methods and then we get the visual. But first let us take a look at the data model we already built. So we have the header table, that's the highest table. And in the header table we have just the PL. So you can see the revenue, net sales, cost of sales, and then the gross margin. It's a calculation. Then we have some operating expense deduction. And then we have our operating profit. Let's go to the other tables. Our account chart of account tables table. Uh, it's a one table, but it has multiple uh, accounts, of course. Let's take a look at that one. It's got all the numbers, our account keys. It got all the account descriptions. And also we have the ration with the header assignment to our uh, header our PL. So that's basically you will see here. This is the relation, the header with the header assignment. And then we got the account key to our general ledger. Let's take a look at our general ledger. Our general ledger, we have all the transactions in it. And not only the transactions, the actuals, but we also appended the budget. It's uh, a time ago, so let's take a look how we did that in transform data. Well, you can see here, we did had just had the budget table for the 2018 and 2019 uh, numbers, and it had the scenario key too, and we append it by at the general ledger, just with the append query, it is this step, and then we have now the budgets and the actuals in one table. We're going to close this one, close and apply. And I think we only need some uh, basic measures. So you can see here we have an amount unfiltered. There are more measures, but that's from the previous parts. I think we all only need some basic measures. And maybe we need more, we see. The account amount unfiltered, that's the general ledger, and it's the total amount. So that's actuals and budget together. Then we divide it, we separate them based on the general ledger scenario key. If it's a one, you can see here, it's actual in a calculate. If it's number two, it is budget. So that are the two basic measures based on the amount unfiltered. And then of course, we I also make a prior year measure so you can compare to uh, some historical data. I don't know if we need that bit with our visual, so we're gonna find out. Now, we're gonna load the visual from the website. Let's do it. So we already made cleaned up 
our PNL high number with DAX. So we just removed all the visuals, but we keep the filter, the slicer for years. So this is a simple slicer, slicer visual with years in it, and some uh, icons we keep also on the side. Now we're gonna get our visual. We get more visuals. It's prompting for zebra, or for zebra nut. It's prompting for custom visuals, and we're gonna add a zebra. Okay, we see three kind of visuals. We have the tables, the charts, and now also cards. First, let's take a look at tables. When that's what you are going to need for your PL. So now we see that pricing additional purchase may be required. So we want to know how much it costs for us or the client. And if you go to the Shibra BI, they have just a transparent uh, pricing. You can see that the free version, a pro version, and enterprise version. I think you soon need a pro version. Uh, so with the pro version, you also get a volume discount. You will see here. And if you switch to uh, dollars to euros, you can see the difference in the different prices. So that's nice. Uh, it is a few bucks, but I think you will speed up um, building time uh, enormously, but also a user experience yeah, it, it's, it's much better uh, and I will show you in a moment what I mean. So I think it's uh, spend a, a few bucks, but you spend it well. Okay, let's hop over and we press add. And now we have our uh, visual. The import is successful and we're gonna place one on our sheet so this is the table view and i already added in the pop-up that was turning on here on the right side the license because we want to have three hierarchy levels and we want to switch uh, some stuff so we need the pro uh, license for this for the income statement i also add the zebra uh, bi charts and the zebra bi cards okay so let's first add the table so we want to build something like uh, we have over here. So this uh, the, this year, previous year, some uh, variants, um, some break uh, breakdown, and also some trend. And this is from the revenue. Now, first we're gonna start with a table and see the functionalities of Shiba BI. Uh, we're gonna add the different uh, hierarchies. So let's add the header. We add a header to the category. And then from the accounts table, we add the subheader. And also we add the account. Now we have three uh, levels. And you will see here it's all the balance sheet and the profit and loss. So also we're gonna take the VS main for our filter pane. So basically we're gonna say every account is that's the balance sheet or profit and loss is the profit and loss we're going to filter and now we only see the profit and loss it's already sorting right so that's nice uh, you can change the sorting of course on the right side subheader so header and account and also based on the measures if we uh, added them uh, we don't see the gross margin yet and also not the net income because in this measure in the normal account account actual we're going to show it let's add it value we don't calculate the gross margin in DAX okay so what is done now how we're going to create the PL there are three ways in Zebra BI to do this one uh, sort it out in your uh, source data well we are unfortunately we have just the source data is already in the data warehouse ma uh, made so we cannot change that. Secondly, you can make a formulas in the Zebra BI. So we can add, clicking on the right pane, clicking on the right uh, mouse button, 
and we add a formula. Now you see a bar and this is very nice. And you can say, okay, I want to deduct, I want to add gross margin. And I want to have a revenue minus cost of sales. And that will work. But in our situation, it won't work because our revenue is not right. We have 46 million, but it has to be uh, 44 minus one minus well, a half. So it has to be 42. So we have to make not on the highest level on the hierarchy, but on a lower level. I just started with CBBI. Maybe it's possible, but I don't see it right now. So if you know how to calculate the subheader and have a level in Zebra BI, the different levels, post it in the comments below. So we learn something from you. And we go here for option three, we're gonna calculate it in DAX. And we already did it in DAX, so I'm gonna paste a matrix based on our PL in, uh, in the day series. And here we have our header, our subheaders, and then we have the different measures to build up the one we're gonna pick, the actual, just a small recap. We have the actuals from the database, that's all positive numbers. So the revenue is uh, positive, the costs are positive. Well, that's not what you want. So this is the actual add up, is calculating based on the, rep uh, the account sign. So then you can see now the returns on, invest on uh, adjustments and discounts are negative, and it's adding up to 42 million. And also the costs are negative. Then we want to say, yeah, but we don't want to see the negative numbers on for cost of sales. So we have the account displays value. Then we use the switch because yeah, we want to have the right number at the bottom. We want to have the eight and a half million. So we have to switch if the header is here in inside of the measure, then use uh, the actual uh, the display value. If it's not, that's on the last row, on the total row, then use the uh, actual add up measure. Then we have the actual running totals for our subtotals. That's what we need. We need our subtotals. So the actual running total is calculating the subtotals for us. So the net sales is ca calculated and also uh, the net income is calculated and uh, also the operation profit. Now, in the last we have combined the measures, so we combine the actual switch, the running total, and we suppressed the revenue because we already got now the net sales from uh, a total. So we're going to use the actual total now. So we remove the matrix again, and we're going to add the actual total to our visual. And you can see here in the Cibria. BI visual, you have basically four scenarios. You have the values, and that's the, the actuals, the previous year plan forecast, and we now adding the uh, actual totals and the actuals in the same. So you also can add some extra measures. If we want to use the previous year, the plan or the forecast, CBA BI, we're going to show that in a moment. Let's do that. Uh, is showing is showing the variants, so you don't have to make meshes for them. They are showing right away in the visual. That's for later. We're going to remove that. Now, first, we're going to take a look at our totals again. Also, if you add the values to um, to the visual, Zebra has a sorting order. Sometimes. It's overriding the sorting order what you already have by this number. And then there is here an arrow, so you can see this, and you can just one, two, three clicks, and now the sorting order was so uh, like the default settings. And of course, we can sort by the header and make them ascendic. So this is done the default. So now we see the numbers add up. So 
we have our net sales, our cost of sales, and then we deduct them from each other and we have our gross margin for the actual total. Then the operating profit is the cost of sales, uh, the gross margin minus the operating expensive, and we have to deduct also the other income and taxes. And then, oh, we see here that the taxes have not a detail on the subheader. That's because we have in our measure used this column, the detail column. And we suppressed if everything is a zero, we don't want to see the underlying uh, hierarchy. So we have to make this a one again. Uh, well, we're simply going to do that by changing the zero in a one in the data. And I can do that in this time by the data source. I already did that in an other file. So I had the VS data and I changed the source with only that one small difference on the detail. And we're going to load it again. So now it's applying the changes. You can see now. After the changes are made, the text is only uh, has also a detail number one, and now you see it's appearing in our visual. So now we're going to add the different measure to it. We so we're going to remove the actual and keep the actual total with our calculation, and we're going to add the prior year in the, this one and now you can see it's Zebra BI automatically added the variance columns and if we are going to drag this one to the side you can see the last column will also change to a kind of chart visual so that's the responsive layout from for uh, from uh, Zebra BI it's very nice and uh, you can Next, we can drag and drop because we want to have the prior year on the right side. We just grab and drop the actuals from this year and the prior year on the right side. And we can choose on top which kind of uh, visualization we want. So let's choose the calculation uh, waterfall for the difference. And now we want to to see our gross margin as a result because we want to have okay our gross margin is a result or net income you can do that by right clicking and then say this line is a result we're also going to do that for operating profit you already see that by doing that for one of the subtotals uh, zebra removed the other ones so we want to add this one, this is a result, and also the net income is a result, and the net sales is also a result. Now you can see from 1 from 0 to 100. The next one thing is, is the wow factor for, the, for this visual, but you don't need any measures for it, for the variance, but also not to infer it. So, an increase of uh, sales from last year, that's good so green and also positive but cost of sales are also increased yeah that's that's not good so uh, we don't want to have a green we want to have it uh, red so what we're going to do we say invert all the children and now you can see a hey, it's calculating again and it's changing the variance so let's do a walkthrough we also want all the children of operating expensive invert and we will also want to do the uh, taxes so let's say taxes right click Invert all children. 
Okay, uh, it's already doing it automatically, but you can collapse and collapse the entire row or expand the entire field to the next field. So as we expand and you see all the accounts beneath it, or we can just hop and say we want to collapse everything. So I think this is a little bit too much. So for our visual, because we have to uh, make a, a table again, we can make it a little bit smaller. Also this title bar. And let's add a background. Uh, we get just a simple standard effects background. Um, of course we can change more, but okay, I think now it's already looking like a real PNA. Ta da so we're gonna add uh, something on the right side, some visuals, some breakdown of the PNL. Okay, let's grab the BI charts for that, and let's grab the header, and also the same measure. So we're gonna drag and drop the header for the category, and we're gonna add the total actual actual total amount for the values. We're gonna make it a little bit smaller, and now, and now we have a column chart, and we want to have a, a waterfall chart. And I don't see here on the top like here that you can choose, but you have this this uh, slicer effect. You can just scroll and search your own type. So we go to the waterfall, and now we're gonna see. Okay. We have just like here the variance, the waterfall of the breakthrough, of the breakdown of the uh, actuals. And we can go say now this is a result. We have to do it again. We have also say the operating is a result, the gross margin is a result, and we have to invert the costs. So this is cost, this is cost, this is also a result, but it's also uh, revenue. And the text is a result. Oh, I make a mistake. It's not a result, it's inverted. So like this. Now you see we have the breakdown of our actuals. Basically, also it is possible in this visual by clicking on it and saying we want to have a waterfall. And now you can see the same breakdown a vertical what we have here horizontal but I, I think this is a little bit too much um, overkill so I want to have this like a table for the for and just make something like this so it's very easy to make a visual like this and also the back color ground color just change it to I change it just to the same uh, color and you can also change the number on the right side. That is the change from revenue to net income. And it's now percent. You can, oh, a little bit too. I have to, yeah, now it's visible. Now you see the amount and now you see the amount and the percentage. And now you see only the percentage. Well, that's what you like, your preference. Let's make another visual. So we have to click on the zebra charge again to add a visual. Um, I don't see a copy paste for to copy this uh, visual and go further with the same uh, settings. So no copy paste. Uh, maybe you know, set it in the comments. Um, I go further with this one. So we are gonna add the header. And in this one, I want to have the same background uh, breakdown uh, in the variance. So I'm going to select the measure variance last year and current year. The difference between them. Let's select the waterfall by clicking on the right on the slicer. And then we're going to say, like we did again, we invert the costs. We say the result and we say invert the expenses. Operating profit is a result. Texas has to be inverted. And then we have our result 
a net income. We're gonna change the background color. We go to general effects background yellow and now we have the same breakdown um well that's nice we can also change the horizontal and vertical parts so we go to i think chart settings let's see show vertical axis so well now you have it like this you can play around with it um and let's keep it that way so this is very easy so let's do another one let's add another dimension so we grab a zebra we're gonna lay this one over the other one don't want to see that anymore so we're gonna add the time dimension we open the calendar we're gonna drag and drop on our visual select them first so yep yeah. our quarter as a category and also the month as a time dimension and also we already got the actuals versus prior year so why not use the budget uh, versus the actuals so we're gonna grab the actual total and we're gonna add the budget the budget total where's the budget total yep yeah. Here's the budget title. And now we're gonna see, hey, I don't see any numbers. And that's because we don't have selected uh, the header. And in our measure, we have, you can see here, if it has one value from the header, then the amount, otherwise blank. So we have also had have to add the header to this visual. And let's, say we want to do it as a group wow well you see now all um, small multiples so you see the net sales the gross margin the operating expense so yeah that's that's nice but we're gonna pick just one uh, we're gonna just pick the uh, net sales so okay we're gonna filter this table for net sales and then you will see another nice feature wow because you have enough space this is also responsive not only the table visual but also the chart visible is responsive and now you got you have um, both uh, uh, two two visuals in one <laughs> this, this is what I want to say um, let's also break the axis that's more oh that's more uh, beautiful and maybe can a little bit smaller again when it's disappear okay this that's the max for the two visuals let's add a background yeah and also we want to just say, let's move to the bottom this one a little bit to the bottom so and now i want to show you you can also down drill so we have now broken x axis we have a second uh, visual uh, responsive uh, based on uh, the chart and now we can also okay we have a pnl and the actuals what are the difference over time and we can see now it's different in quarter four so we're gonna select the down drill button and then we're gonna have the native down drill function we're gonna down drill on quarter four and we see the last three months no october november december and then the tooltip is saying in you know, our analyze yep the actuals are zero so there are no actuals for this month yet um, but the budget is 1.7 million so also the variance is 1.7 million so we have to add our budget to uh, we don't have to budget we have to add the month selection to our uh, selection pane so we grab the slicer for year then we're gonna change it in month short 
we're gonna remove the years we're gonna expand this one till December and we want to have also the years visible so our remark to the left and we also want to be able to select multiple months so I go to the slicer settings selection and I go to visual slicer selection one no we have multiple with control we can select now till November and now you will see that's a much better comparison and we're gonna filter back to our normal level and now we're gonna see hey the fair the budget is in line with the actuals or the actuals in line with the budget that's how you want to say it so there's a nice uh, extra feature uh, let's make it a little bit more pretty so turn off the titles turn this one off and also the title for this one a little bit smaller So this is the max, we're gonna grab a title bar, you don't have to do this, I just like it to do this, like this. So and I want to, so I'll fast forward a little bit, so I added the title box, I removed I moved the slicer to the right and also a little bit reorganized the year first period and now we're gonna add the last part a card I want to have here a high number with a small trend line so we're gonna add a new KPE card I call it it is a really a Sabra BI cards um, well, let's add actuals on the value. I want to have a trend line for months. And we want to have a header. So we get add the header for group. Well, nice, we have net sales cost, all little small um, KPIs, but I only want to have the, the net income. So we're gonna select the filter pane, we're gonna select the header, and then we're gonna on, we only, select, only select the net income. Now we have a little, a little KPI card. And I see we have to add our license key. So I'm gonna do that and fast forward. So we want to add this one on top. Let's see if we can drag and drop and make it a little bit smaller. Well, I think this is nice. Um, I searched the background, so if I go to make it also yellow, um, I see the general effects background you can add, but then you see that's the background behind the tile. And I didn't see an option also not in this, uh, in the top <laughs> options, I make it bigger, to make the background uh, the same color. But I think that will be in a future update. It's just released, it is version 1.2. Um, and I think, well, we have nice uh, PNL now. And one thing we want to add uh, after our high number, and that is um, another drill through page. So that's the last thing we're going to do. So we're going to create a drill through page. We're going to just duplicate one page. Then we're going to recall this one and call them 
by organization. Then we have to remove the visuals. And we do that by removing them with the button because delete the normal function wor doesn't work. We also need to make some room for the button that is appear for the drill through page. We will see in a moment. Also, of course, the headers we changing. And we don't need any more the slicer for months because the slicer will the selection will create it on the other page so i say select the period now we're going to change the colors the background I don't want to have the background because in the KPE visual we cannot make it uh, other color than white. It's not what I can do, but maybe other people will do it. So I give it the white background color. Then we're going to add, we're going to change the, the dimensions. So we're going to place the header and the subheader in the toolbox, tool tips. And we're going to add the organization name to the category. And now we want also on the page, so we're selecting the page, one click. We Now you see on the right side the drill through option. Drill through fields here. And we're going to select the header. Okay. Now you also see appearing the button on the left side. And we don't want to, no, maybe you can also change the background color, but maybe it's so even better. Now we're going to see our drill tool working. So first let's say, okay, we have 14 million labor expense and I want to right click. And now you see, okay, the drill tool page by organization. And we're going to see the 14 million are going to collapse all the business units. And also I want to um, change the variance type and just the chart type. So now we can um, analyze widths department is contributing how much to the variance and I see also the inverted is already changed again so maybe we have to we have to add the sub header again I just do it at the top and yeah you see now okay a de increase is bad and a decrease is uh, good but now you have also the 100% bar. No. Well, for now it's uh, fine. Uh, I also can show you that um, first let's turn off the title again. And I also want to show you that you can also change the settings from this color. So it's now it's this design on Zebra, but you can also customize the colors. So maybe the negative is a little bit less Harsh this way or this way, and um, well, let's now make uh, also. We have now the organizations, so we have to break down by organization to analyze the expenses. Let's also make the trend over the year. So we add a we add a chart. We add the actual, the actual total, we 
we're gonna add the actual total from last year. We want to break down by month. So month and calendar. We don't want to have the waterfall this time. Yes, this is what we want to see. Yep. And now we want also to invert. We have to do it thinking with just every month. So I hope in a future update that will change. And now we can analyze, okay, we have Southern Division, we have salary uh, difference from 100 k how is it divided over the months, the differences, and well, maybe go further from there. So also this one, we want to do design a little bit soften. So we're gonna choose custom and we're gonna choose the latest uh, change for, uh, for red and also we want to add the card so a new visual so I changed the pink uh, again in a, a better readable color for the chart but uh, normally we will you will yeah in a real production, uh, you will fine tune it till it's uh, satisfying. Now I just leave it like this. Um, okay, we add the the card, and in the card we add the the organizations. So we have to get the organization by uh, category, and we want to see the actual actual total and also the actual total from last year. And I want to have it like this. And now we're gonna see, okay, there's um, an increase is good and a decrease is bad. So in this visual, we can just go to invert fire and scholar in the visual pane and say we invert it. So now it's red. Um, and maybe we can also design and make it yellow. Zebra custom, and then choose for red the yellow. And I also think this is much better looking. And well, let's start with this. So we see, okay, which department has the largest contribution on the variants. Um, Let's switch this. So I rearranged things a little bit and uh, I also want to uh, turn off the shadow. So there are different uh, font options and different uh, in this uh, KPE chart. So it's very nice uh, KPE chart. It's a very quick building. So we want to have them flat. And now I think we are ready. So I changed the titles a little bit and be aware that you have to invert every account row of the PNL. What did I mean by that? Well, basically we did it just for labor and you have to do for commission, traveling expense, etc. Well, I just down drill on this to total and then I invert it at once. So that is a little bit quicker. Uh, let's test it. We have now, we had seen the labor expense. Let's do the telephone. I just do a right click. We go to by organization. And then we come with a down drill to this page and we can analyze by organization, by month, and also a little bit further to account level. So I hope you like this kind of down drills. Um, so let's add one final step, publish this thing to the Power BI workspace. So I created a new workspace called PNL uh, in a day Zebra. And uh, we're gonna just publish it from the desktop. 
I choose Zebra and now he will publish it to the PBX file, the report and the data set to Power BI service. And when it's ready, well, he's giving us the link and now we can open it in. Uh, we can open this report in Power BI service and if I go to the Zebra page, we are also able to scroll to change so the user has also the capability to change this kind of visuals if it's turned on and we didn't turn it off so by default it's turned on so that's also nice and let's see if it's also working here so on the right click we say we want to down drill by organization and yes it's working well, very nice. Um, you can also make an app of this. So we go to PNL Zebra. We're gonna create the app. And we wanna have just gray. Uh, demo. And now we want to install this automatically. We want to add content. Well, we want to have the this uh, report and the audience well of course there we have only one audience and that's uh, one uh, user that's me we want to publish the app and this is the quickest way nowadays to publish the app and then let's take a look well now it's in the app i hope you uh, like this let's go further well I hope I didn't uh, embarrass uh, Andrew or Pascal with this uh, walkthrough. It was my first unbox. Um, well, I am Power BI Samurai. I will learn it um, to do it much uh, quicker. And uh, I hope to see you uh, in the next video of mine or uh, somewhere in our Power BI community. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. Be kind in the comments, uh, but also do some suggestions so other people have the benefits from it and um, if you want to build your uh, own PL and uh, some own dashboards but you don't know how to start it just do uh, uh, just reach out on the platform to me and we can join and see each other in the course i will making about guidance for practical uh, power bi in finance see you later